Have you ever asked yourself one of these three questions when it comes to analyzing behavior on your website? Question number one, you wondered what are people clicking on on your site? What navigation items are people using? Maybe you launched a new feature like wish list and you want to understand how many people are using it, how this is impacting your conversion rate, is it helping it, is it hurting it? Or how about question number two, you wanted to tag your site so you understand how to use Google Tag Manager, but you don't necessarily have the time to invest into going through and tagging new features on your site. Or maybe number three, you fall into this bucket where you want to tag your site, but you just don't know how to do it. You don't understand the intricacies of Google Tag Manager and how to create behavior events that can import into your Google Analytics account. Our event builder will answer all three of those questions for you and really simplify the process of tagging your site and then analyzing that data in Google Analytics and then applying that to your own conversion optimization strategies. Let's take a look at how this works. Here is an empty Google Tag Manager account, so I'm not cheating. I'll even refresh the page here and you'll see we do not have any tags or triggers that are created in our workspace. Now let's take a look at Nike. So this is a home page. We have the our Chrome extension, our Event Builder Chrome extension, extension enabled, and I've gone ahead and selected this GTM account container and workspace that we just looked at, and I've entered my Google Analytics tracking ID. I've already saved and synced my workspace, so now I have access to all of the variables that exist inside of my container. So if I have custom variables that I wanted to apply to some of these event actions, this is available and ready for me to use. It's really easy to go through and tag. We have three options in tagging the site. We can do a click-based trigger, an impression trigger, or a page view trigger. Starting with click-based first, I'm going to go ahead and answer that question of how many people are utilizing the mega menu and ultimately how many people are clicking on some of these sub navigation items. So I'm going to create one tag, which has one click trigger. They can see here, I just point and clicked and it automatically grabs the CSS selector. And this is going to capture any clicks underneath the mega menu. So now I'll have visibility into what, sub menu items are being clicked on, what's the conversion rate for those, and you can start slice and I can start slicing and dicing this with all of the available dimension data I have in GA already. So going through and finishing up this event, I'm going to call this main navigation click and our event category of global. The event action, I'm going to name it main nav click. And I'm going to actually append a variable here for Click, uh, click text. So now, again, this one tag and trigger that I create, I'm gonna click, or any user that clicks on this will automatically append the click text. So we'll see inside of Google Analytics, main nav click dash running, main nav click dash basketball, etc. And I want this to fire on every single page. So we have our selected pages. I'm gonna save this event. And now I want to see how many people are clicking on the promo banner up top here? So I'm just going to point and click again. We'll name this promo banner click. Again, this is a global feature. And we'll say promo banner click. Uh, but I know my marketing team changes out the URL this goes to depending on any promos or sales that we have going on. So I'm actually going to change this particular event action and use click URL. So this will track the destination URL that this link is going to. And again, I'm going to save this event. I want this to execute on every single page and we're tracking the page URL that a user is clicking on. Next up, I want to track the promo banner. So these promo banners that I regularly, regularly rotate out on the homepage, we'll just point and click, grabs the selector again, We'll do hero banner, click home page for the event category, and then hero banner, click for the event action. And again, I'm going to do a click URL variable. And this one, I'm going to do current page only. So this is just a home page event and save. And next up, 
I want to see the top picks from pro athletes. So this section, I actually want to create an impression event. So when this becomes visible in the user's viewport, I want to actually see how often that happens and that way I can associate conversion rate or other metrics to that. So I'm gonna create a visibility event, a point and click, top picks from pro athletes, impression, and we'll do event category of homepage again, and we'll do top picks, impression is my event action, and we'll again have this execute on all pages, save the event. So there's four events I've created in just about a minute or so. So inside the extension, we keep track of all events that you've created. And we actually have a status for every event. So has this been imported, updated, or has it uh, not yet been imported into Google Tag Manager? So now I'm ready to import my events. I'm just gonna click Import Events to GTM. And this will kick off the process of actually creating the tag and the trigger and all of the rules that we've set on those four tags. It's gonna begin that process of importing it into Google Tag Manager. So now we can see the events are beginning to import and we'll see these changed out here where I have the green that's imported, yellow that it's updated. And again, going over to Google Tag Manager, this was an empty workspace. And let's go ahead and refresh. And you'll see three out of the four tags have been created already, imported just a few seconds ago. And let's just pop over here. The, as you can see, if we just click in here to the hero banner click, the tag has been automatically created. It's a Google Analytics Universal Analytics tag. All the event data has been filled out with your Google Analytics ID setup. We have it by default set to a non-interaction hit. And you'll see the trigger has also been created so this trigger is automatically created with the click element selected. And this, this one was a home page where we set a rule to fire on this page only, which was just the home page. That's also been set. We'll, we'll look at the impression. So this was our visibility based event. So we have the event created event details and we have our event visibility trigger that's been created as well. So at this point, let's just refresh and see the, if the fourth one made its way over. All right, so now we have four tags, four triggers. At this point, I'm ready to go. I can put this into preview mode or submit and publish. And now this data, so someone who clicks on the mega menu, someone who is clicking on the promo bar banner, hero banner, or ultimately scrolls down to uh, bring the pro, athlete, pro athletes promo into the viewport, those events are executing and I have the ability to analyze what people are doing on my site, what navigation items are leading to higher revenue and higher conversion rate, and apply that to any changes I'd like to make on my site. It's that simple. So you can see just in a few minutes, even if you wanted to just create one tag or 100, you can do it all through our simple Chrome extension and it'll save you loads of time and really unlock some meaningful data for you.